right, Dr. Jones, um, first question. Well, thanks for doing this again. Uh, why should voters vote for you come election day next month? They should vote for me because I represent the values of North County. I support uh, and want to fund law enforcement. I do care about the homeless situation. I do care about water. Main points of your campaign are, are what? I will, fu I will fund and support uh, um, public safety, f fire safety, and the sheriffs. Even for those folks that live in Atascadero, the sheriff and Cal Fire are backup support for their local fire. I, I will work hard to uh, come up with solutions for our failed policies on uh, dealing with the homeless issue. I, I think that the new plan that county staffs put together, a five-year plan where they centralize um, uh, governance of this, this issue is a, is a good idea that may help to move forward. I think also the uh, information systems data that they're currently not using as much as they should could help us figure out what works and what doesn't work. I will work to streamline the planning department. Uh, we need a system that works better, faster, and cheaper. The main issues facing San Luis Obispo County uh, are what? I think a big issue is public safety in areas that are less populated. Um, areas um, as far out as uh, uh, Lake Nascimento, uh, where the sheriff's co coverage is thin, where they're 35 minutes away from the North Station Sheriff's Office. I think that and fire protection are probably the issues that people care the most about. They should also care about water, and we need to come up with solutions for that. So your, uh, your opponent, Supervisor Gibson, uh, has been on the board for a long time. He's, uh, I guess, the dean now, of the, or has been, uh, of the supervisor, 15 years. Uh, so a long time uh, experience on the board. You yourself um, have not had that board experience, that county government experience. Uh, how important is, is, uh, is that difference? Uh, I believe in term limits. Uh, I think he's been there too long. I do have experience that will make me an effective supervisor day one. I served on the Templeton Area Advisory Group for more than three years, its chairman for uh, two years. Um, in that capacity, I had an opportunity to talk to business owners, ranchers, farmers, uh, homeowners, land use applicants, and their neighbors. Uh, I think that that experience has prepared me uh, to understand the issues that matter to people also. I served on the board of a large nonprofit hospital. I was on that board because I was the elected president of the medical staff. This board ran a hospital business that was larger in dollar volume and had more employees in our county government. We had to make the same decisions. We had to make decisions about how to survive financially, how to balance a budget. We had to make employee decisions. We had to make decisions about what services were the most important to the community. It's not so different from what the county government does. And I, I have that experience, and we did a very good job. We did balance our budget, and, and we did provide good service for the community. So the nature of the Board of Supervisors is nonpartisan, technically, but each supervisor obviously has their own political affiliations and philosophies. With the, uh, the outcome in District 4, which switched, um, the, the makeup of the board rests in the balance politically um, with this race. It's, it's uh, seen by everyone throughout the county. This is a, it's a big race on how the board uh, may vote in the future. What, what are your thoughts on that? I, I think it is correct that the balance of conservative progressive on, on the board is, is, is determined by this election. Um, it, at this point, there will be two relatively conservative candidates and two relatively progressive candidates, and for a two, three majority will depend on whether uh, Bruce Gibson or I are elected. 
So the primary um, in June was, uh, was a four-person race. Supervisor Gibson did win, uh, about 47%, I believe. Uh, three candidates, including yourself, um, went two, three, and four. You were the top, top vote getter. Uh, your thoughts on the primary and, and uh, your confidence going into the, the general election here in November? Uh, I think that the this, this three of the four candidates were conservative candidates, and I believe that um, those folks who voted for conservative candidates will again vote for conservative candidates. I do believe that I will win this election. Um, and as I asked you last time, um, a vote for you, a vote for Dr. <laughs> Bruce Jones is a vote for what? It's a vote for fair government. Gov I will be that that supervisor that is anti-corruption and honest, uh, the kind of supervisor the people of, of District 2 deserve. And is there anything else you want to add? Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Jones. Appreciate